What's going on everybody? This is Cloud Knight from Nightville Entertainment here and this is episode 18. I believe this is 18. Hold on. This is episode okay yeah this is episode 18 17 and 18 will be today and this is episode 18 we're going to be calling this basic attack system i do want to take the minute to just say uh hit that sub button to stay up to date on all visual novel tutorial series and also i want to invite you into the discord because this is where a lot of us are getting together um having fun becoming an active community um the discord link is in the quick psa video make sure you click that and go check it out um, and it's also on the steam post. So we're gonna get into this right now um, So the first thing you're gonna want to do to create a basic attack system is well me I'm need I'm gonna need an enemy So I'm going to the research. I mean the research research resource manager And I'm going to upload this little character. I found off Google uh, Just for tutorial purposes here, and I'm gonna create a new scene called attack And inside this attack scene, I'm just going to do join scene. No, actually not join scene. I'm going to do show picture. I'm going to do show picture. I'm going to do show picture. And this is going to be really simple, guys. I'm going to show you guys how to do this real quick. Inside the show picture, we're going to use this skeleton. I'm going to give him a direct. I'm just going to put him right here in the front. And then what we're going to want to create is a um, variable. So, for example, we're going to go into collections under common events. We're going to do new and we're going to call this uh, attack damage. Inside attack damage, we're going to create a number variable. Inside this number variable, we're going to give it, we're going to go into the, the global and we're going to give this a damage tag. Inside the damage tag, we're going to set it to random and we're going to go anywhere from zero to hundred so we can do a basic attack from zero to a hundred okay so that's gonna set it to random so it's gonna fluctuate from zero to a hundred and also all you gotta do you just click save and we're gonna go right into the scene go back to our attack scene and inside this we're gonna call common event um, called uh, attack damage and then what we're gonna do is show message and what we're going to say here is um, your attack did. And then we're going to do bracket global number. And remember what it was. If you want to know what your variable was, just remember uh, whatever variable you store it under. Is a, that's going to be the number. So it's global variable. Um, whoops. Attack. So it's global number six, close bracket. So then it's going to be like your attack did 28. And then you're going to want to add it uh, damage at the end. Damage exclamation point. So we're going to click save. And then it's going to be like, shows the picture, the common event. Your attack did 54 damage. Now, of course, that's not really interactive, is it? So what we're going to do is we're going to add show message put that shout out to rabbit playing arma 3 and we're going to in this show message we're going to say you uh, a wild monster no wild skeleton a wild skeleton appeared would you would you like to attack so it's like, it's like, it's like, oh my goodness, guys. It's like a wild skeleton appeared. Would you like to attack? And then we're going to do, um, add choice, add choice. Yes. No, this is so we can make it a little interactive. And then we're going to do show, not show message. I'm sorry, guys. We're going to do show choices. put it here and then we're going to just fix the choices um as i do so i'm gonna give them a direct i want yes to be here and i want to give it a direct and i want no to be here so now when you show choices i kind of want to fix that there we go that's perfect 
and then so what's going to happen is if you do no so we're going to create a label inside the label we're just going to do nothing we're just going to call this no so what it's going to do is going to jump to label no it's going to jump to no and then if it's going to attack we're going to do jump to label yes and what's going to happen here at the label yes is we're just going to make it go here so we're going to create a new label whoops create a label and we're going to call this label yes and then what we're going to do at the end of that is do an, uh, jump to label and we're just going to jump to um, finished which is pretty much going to just finish it off anyway so we're going to save it we're going to use make attack our intro scene intro I'm going to click play give it another save so that way we're going to test it real quick in game and you can add sound effects and everything a wild skeleton appeared would you like to attack I could pr probably fix that uh, make it under but for the most part no it closes it I'm gonna fix that real quick because I didn't realize it was in the way so I'm just gonna put it under under the text don't want it ruining the text we want it under the text I'm just gonna click play yes now this is just a basic attack system just like the other tutorial was a basic money system we're gonna go over more advanced but this is just you know to get you guys wet get your feet wet wild wow, skeleton appear would you like to attack yeah your attack did 47 damage and it will be random every time because we set it up to be random basic attacks and that's all for this tutorial guys make sure you hit that subscribe button stay up to date all things visual novel making join the discord and have some fun with us and I will see you guys in the next tutorial or the next Cloud Night video from Nightville Entertainment. God bless and peace.